How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Source ADV. I've got the 2020 KTM 500 XCFW do-it-all bike in front of me right here and it's finally time to do another video. I think it's been almost 10 months since I've done a video for this bike and I've been getting questions about hey when are you gonna race it again? When are you gonna adventure it to the uh, to the race? And I've got a good reason why I haven't posted for 10 months. Uh, two good reasons actually. So not too long after I raced that Oracle race on this bike and got fourth on it, uh, I ended up shattering my foot. Well, not shattering, breaking my foot in about three or four places uh, on a practice ride. So that happened. I was down and out for almost three months. And while that was going on, I decided to make a new company called Race Provisions, which is a you know nutritional supplement company for dirt bikes and mountain bikes. I was finding that nobody really makes a good kind of pre-ride and uh, intra-ride supplement for dirt bikers and mountain bikers um, that's also kind of more on the natural side of the spectrum. So uh, yeah, my foot's healed. Uh, Race Provisions is running. We're selling product. So um, if you want to go check out raceprovisions.com and there's also going to be a nice big discount code for exclusive to Source ADV viewers in the description below. So definitely check that out. But it is finally time to adventure this KTM 500 to a race, right? And then on top of that, race the race. Um, I'm trying to prove whether or not this bike truly is the do it all quintessential bike. You know, if you only had to have just one bike, not two bikes, not three bikes, but just literally one bike to do single track, uh, lightweight adventure, some racing, could the 500 XCFW or EXC be that perfect bike? Today's video is gonna be about setting this bike up for this race. I've got literally two days to do this, and I'm looking over at this giant list I have over there. We need to add some kind of rear rack here, and I've got this Fastway rack that actually can come off, uh, so we'll be able to pull it once we get to the race to save some weight. Uh, we've got a Moscow Moto Reckless 80 up there ready to go. It wants that rack is on. We've got a large gas tank and a GPS uh, system that's gonna be mounted to the handlebars and that's also gonna be removable for the race. So let's uh, get this thing built. So this is definitely the cool part about this rack is that you can disconnect it uh, just the back piece, right? And take off the actual rack and just leave this bracket on and the bracket that mounts to the muffler mounts right there. Yeah, I really don't like how big that hole is. I wish I had done that better, but what are you gonna do? Um, but yeah, so it's just that and this, and essentially it's down to adding roughly one pound, 10 ounces uh, to the bike that can't come off for race day. Gotta clean everything up and heat shrink all the connectors. Pretty good, it's got a little fuse. So this little guy right here is a uh, 12 volt to five point, to five volt output converter. And this little guy's five volt, which is stupid. All right, so as you can see here, we basically have a lightweight adventure bike now. Uh, we got all the, the, the necessary components. We know where we're going. We got enough fuel to get there. And we got some camping equipment once we're there. So this thing is ready for a lightweight adventure. Oh yeah, we've got a mirror so that I don't get sideswiped on the left side. I don't have one on the right side though, so I'll get hit there. But um, 
This thing's pretty much there. I've got a bunch of maintenance stuff like uh, oil change, air filters, new front and rear tires and mooses, new chain and sprockets that this thing needs, but you guys don't need to see any of that. It's gonna be about a 250 mile ride up. That'll probably do over one day, maybe two. Um, and then the race is for the whole weekend. There's gonna be a hard enduro exhibition up there, which should be pretty cool. It's actually, the race takes place at uh, Page, which is where the Grinding Stone uh, US hard enduro, the national hard enduro is. Um, so we'll be running a hair, hair scramble on that two hour hair scramble. So I'm glad I got this big fuel tank. Yeah, we'll be running none of the pro lines. So you won't see our bikes flipping down the hill, which I'm happy about because this thing would definitely take a beating. If you want to actually see the me adventuring this thing to the race, riding the race, that's going to be the next episode. So make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed or just stay tuned. Also, don't forget to check out our new company, Race Provisions. There'll be a discount code in the description below. And uh, let's see how this thing goes in this race. Take care, rubber side down. <laughs>